going on, Core Kids? Welcome back to Core Kid Revival TV. Come on, y'all. Core Kid Revival TV. I want to watch it every week and put it on my phone. When I'm with the Core Kids, I never am alone. No, whoa. Core Kids Revival TV. Yeah, Core Kids Revival TV. I love that song. We know what we need to put that on an album somewhere. Hmm. Maybe you can think of the next verse. We need to have another verse. I like I like the one we got, but we need another one. Anyway, welcome to Core Kids Revival TV. I'm super excited about today because we are gonna talk about Samson and Delilah. Oh my goodness, this story is just mind blowing. It is just gonna you're just gonna go, oh my goodness what happened and i cannot wait to get into the story with you uh hi bella um bella do you want to say hello to the core kids you coming over come on come on woman of god go ahead i'm gonna sit down and be a good girl the whole time okay be a good girl how many of you guys love bella oh hi bella can you say hi hello all right are you gonna be good are you gonna be good okay better be good sit down be quiet don't shh, don't say all right, so I just wanted you guys to know that we are so excited because this summer we are going to have a kids revival summer camp. Core kids summer revival camp. Summer, wait, revival summer camp. We're gonna have revival, glory to God. And I cannot wait to give you some more details, but I wanted to give you that little bit right there so you can have a little seed so you can get excited about it last year's um revival service with our core kids was just so powerful children were going through deliverance worshiping god they were crying out before the lord we had kids and teens and everybody and it was just amazing and i cannot wait to gear up for that again don't forget make sure that you actually attend our zoom meetings for core kids every single saturday at 11 a.m on a private zoom with all the other core kids how can you be a part your mom and dad have to be in the core group and they'll get you that private link as well as the link to our core kid app yes we have a kid friendly kid safe app just for core kids to stir each other up in their faith to encourage each other in this revival move of god that we are all in the core revival and it's just amazing they can post things share videos do flag worship they can ask questions share scripture read bible together it's just amazing so get connected get plugged in and without further ado it's time for our lesson do you got your sword I got my sword and I know how to use it. I got my sword and I chop the devil down. Hey, I got my sword and I know how to read it. I got my sword, so I'll read it right now. Woo, these songs are getting better. You know what? I got another surprise for you. Come in. Come on in. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. We are actually going to be recording some core kid dance worship videos just for you they're coming they're coming yes 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 they're coming so get ready and it just made me think of it while we were singing the song about our sword and i know how to okay all right so get out your sword and also get out your overcoming evil book if you don't have it you can get it from amazon because we sold out in less than 24 hours from my website but they're on amazon so make sure you go to Amazon and get your book, Overcoming Evil, by me, Jenny Weaver, and your book should be right there. If you don't uh, have the ability to get one right now, that's okay. You can follow along with me and you don't even need it. Yep, just come on in and I'm gonna share a story with you today. So the next story that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the story of Samson and Delilah. And this is on page 13 of my book. I love this book because we're gonna read the story. We're gonna talk about some real life kids that were experiencing some things and then um you're gonna do some journal pages and then today we're actually gonna read the prayer out loud together it's gonna be amazing all right there was a man in the bible named samson have you ever heard of him and he was very strong he was very brave he had been blessed by god with incredible strength like unusual amounts of strength 
I mean, I can imagine his muscles had to be huge. He was able to do things most humans weren't able to do. How was he able to do this? Because God gave him the ability, glory to God. This strength made him very special. However, he had a weakness. Somebody say, uh-oh. He had a weakness for a woman named Delilah. So you got a picture of her right there? Uh-oh. Delilah was secretly working for Samson's enemies and he didn't even know. Delilah was cunning and she wanted to find out Samson's secret to his strength. You know, there was a secret to his strength because God gave Samson instructions for him to follow. Just like you, core kid right there listening. You are supposed to be following what God said for you to do. And you're supposed to follow what he said for you not to do. Like when he told you in your heart, hey, I don't want you playing that video game. Or you felt, oh my man, I shouldn't be bullying that person anymore. I shouldn't be treating my parents with disrespect. That's God giving you an instruction. My question is, are you listening to him? So Delilah came to him over and over and over and she tried to trick him and lure him and seduce him and using these evil ways, these trickery ways, manipulation. Oh my goodness, somebody say manipulation. That's a big word where you are actually trying to get someone to do exactly what you want them to do. You're using manipulation. And so she asked him over and over and over and each time Samson, he didn't tell her what his strength was. He told her a lie. Like one time she said, tell me what your strength is. And he said, okay, fine. If I get tied up with these leather ropes, then I'll lose my strength. And guess what she does? Has the leather ropes there. She, you know, they get them, get them all tied up. And guess what? When the Philistines, they came in for him, he just broke the ties. And it was like, he wasn't telling the truth. His love for Delilah clouded his judgment. Uh-oh, he fell in love with the wrong person. That's why you got to be careful, core kids. Listen to God. He told her the truth about where his strength was coming from, which was his long hair. He wasn't supposed to cut his hair, God said it. And he told her that, and guess what? While he was sleeping on her lap, she took some scissors, or I probably didn't have scissors back then. <laughs> she took some sort of cutting device and she sliced all of his hair off, cut it all off. That's why you gotta be careful what you are telling people that you are not supposed to be close with. Come on in here, core kids. So Delilah betrayed Samson. She told the enemies his secret. They were ready to come in and get Samson. And while he was sleeping, she um, cut his hair, took his strength away, and the Philistines came in. They put him in chains. He didn't have any strength anymore. Before he could just throw them off, he couldn't even throw them off. They literally put him in chains and they did something absolutely horrible to him. And I'm just going to be honest with you because it's in the straight up Bible. They, they gouged his eyes out. They took his eyes out so he couldn't see. So he was, he couldn't see anymore to fight them. He didn't know where they were. They literally made him blind. They took his eyes. And they locked him up and they made him a slave for a long time. Samson was learning a valuable lesson during that time about trusting the wrong people and not obeying God's commandments. I definitely think he learned the lesson there because in the end of the story, and I, and I write this here and it's in the Bible, he turned back to God. He cried out to God. They were all in there in the temple worshiping their gods that were not our true God and they were just doing all kinds of evil things. And Samson was in there locked up between these two ginormous pillars, chained up, couldn't see. And he asked God, God, give me strength again. His hair started to grow out and God answered him. God gave Samson strength one more time and he pushed the pillars and he was able to bring a victory really because the whole temple came down on the idol worshipers and the evil people and they were taken out. They were all crushed under this, including Samson. He was able to be used one more time of the Lord and he used, regained his power to defeat the enemies and show them God's power is the greatest power of all. 
This story tells us to be careful, be watchful, be vigilant. That means be watchful. And listen to God's voice over the voice of the enemy and the voice of people that try to trick us and manipulate us. Whoa, that was a story. Oh my gosh, his eyes were out. He pulled the tower down. He, she cut his hair. So many things are happening in this story. Now I want to go to the part of my book, Overcoming Evil, where I'm going to talk to you about a story that I created just for you about a young girl, a young court kid named Emily. All right. Emily was excited to sit with some cool kids at lunch. She always wanted to be accepted by them. And this was her chance. That day they asked her, come skip class with us and they wanted to go egg their teacher's car instead of going to class. That's rude. She knew it was wrong. Yeah, it was wrong, Emily. Hello. But she wanted to fit in with the cool kids so badly. So they were all walking and as they were walking to go do this bad thing and skip class, the Holy Spirit spoke to Emily spoke right to her in her spirit. Sometimes you can hear the Lord telling you something because you feel like, oh no, I shouldn't do that. And that's actually the Holy Spirit saying to you, oh no, you should not do that. So the Holy Spirit told her, stop now. And then Emily told them she didn't want to be a part of that. And she went to her class. Later, she found a Bible study group at her school and felt right at home with kids of faith. Do you see how she was able to avoid getting in trouble, getting suspended, getting kicked out of school, doing something horrible to her, her precious teacher's car? She allowed the Holy Spirit to lead her and guide her, and she didn't listen to those bad voices. Core kids, sometimes the kids that are in your life, they may not give you the right thing to do. They may try to manipulate you and seduce you into doing the wrong thing. But I want some core kids on here who have the power of the Holy Spirit to stand up and say, I'm standing on the word of God. I'm not going to be bullied into doing something wrong. I'm not going to be peer pressured into going this bad way. I want to stand with God. I want to do the right thing and it is okay. God is going to bring you some good Holy Spirit friends, Christians that will help you, but you must stand for God. How many of you want to stand for God? Come on, lift your hand. How many of you want to do the right thing? Yeah, because God is with you. The Holy Spirit is in you. So we are going to pray the prayer that I wrote in the book today. So why don't you go ahead and stretch your hands towards the screen. You're stretching out in faith. You're saying, I am stretching out and I'm stretching out towards God. I'm touching and believing. I know that God is going to hear this prayer. So in Jesus name, Heavenly Father, I declare in the name of Jesus that I am filled with your Holy Spirit. God, that I'm empowered to overcome every temptation that comes my way. I thank you, God, for giving me the strength and the wisdom to discern between right and wrong. I declare that as I walk in obedience to your word, I am shielded from the snares of the enemy. Glory to God. I renounce every lure and deception of temptation. I choose to fix my eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of my faith. I declare I have the power to say no to sin and yes to righteousness. I'm an overcomer. Come on, someone say that I'm an overcomer because your spirit lives in me. I declare by faith, knowing that with your help, I can resist every temptation and walk in victory in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. And if you believe that, why don't you just shout with a loud voice? Amen and amen. I got the Holy Ghost in me. I got the Holy Ghost right in me. I, okay. Glory to God. That was just a spontaneous song right there. I have no idea what it was. Y'all, I'm so proud of you for standing for God. 
I know you could do the wrong thing if you wanted to, but you're choosing today to stand with God. Do you know how proud that makes God of you? A smile is put on his face today because you're saying yes to him. It's amazing. Listen, I want you to send me any of your videos, any of your artwork, anything that you'd like to share with me, send it to CourtKidsRevivalTV at gmail.com. We love when you guys send stuff in. Keep sending stuff in, and I'm gonna show you some of those clips right now, and I will see you next time for Court Kids Revival TV. Hi, Court Kids. So, my name is Jaden, and I just have a testimony to show you guys. So, like, if you do really bad stuff, like, um, like in your dark place and like you do practice witchcraft and stuff, you're like, say you're a flower, you're like this kind of flower, a really sad flower and it didn't, if you repent and, and it do good stuff, you're like this flower and this like God touches you and his love and when you learn about him every single day and like you have very good rescue slit ship with him you turn into this wonderful flower you see you see carpets uh you don't want to be in a bad place you want to learn about god every single day so that's my testimony bye cool kids wait don't look at it i got the workbooks bye <laughs>